guys, Sarah here, and today we are working on two 11 by 14s. I'm going to do Sister Ninja Swipe paintings with a black background for um, this wonderful collaboration that I'm part of called The Many Faces of a Ninja. And what we are doing is we are going to be using the Ninja Stick uh, that Brian of Spontaneous Creations of Brian has created and we're just going to have some fun with that. I have many other tools here because um, being a ninja you have to have multiple tools. We've got a little mini spatula. We have a piggy paddle from Fluid Art Co. We have a smack swiper, a smack stick to do details, and I have my Swiffer, my go-to. This is my baby. Um, but each piece is going to start off by using the uh, Spontaneous Creations by Brian Ninja Stick. So his link is below. Please follow through with all of this, um, all of these artists in this collaboration. I think there's a six or seven. Um, we are missing Mina. Poor Mina had to have surgery. She had broken her finger. It didn't set back correctly. Um, in the temporary uh, cast that she had and unfortunately has had to leave the collaboration, but for good cause. So my prayers and um, all the good juju uh, so that Mina will heal well this time around. The colors I'm using are Artist Loft Black. I have that mixed two to one with Floetrol. I have TLP's Persephone, which I absolutely love. This is from Fluid Art Co. TLP stands for this little piggy, and you can find that at Fluid Art Co. below, also in a link. This is Pebio's Iridescent Gold. I also have TLP's Burnt Sienna, this gorgeous, gorgeous penny copper color. And I also have TLP's Bloodstone. Again, you can get um, these pigments as well as the beautiful, wonderful, big piggy paddles, um, jumbo mix sticks at uh, Fluid Art Co. Their link is below. I also have a white, Artist Loft White. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put down our base coat and uh, go from there. So we'll see you guys in a minute. All right, we're back. We've coated both of these canvases with the black paint. I'm popping any air bubbles I can see. I'm sure there'll be more over time and we will give it a torch when needed, but for right now, this is what we're gonna be working with. I've transferred some of the black base into a little three ounce cup, but uh, right out. So I think that's all we're gonna do. Um, I also have, I meant to mention my straw. I found this when moving out of the studio. So I was really happy about that because I couldn't figure out where I had left it and I used to always put it up next to my mix cups, my mixing cups, but I had not, I didn't know where it was, but we found it. That's all that matters. Um, next up, we're gonna go with gold. I added some white there. And let's come in with some no, let's come in with some black, actually. I love that contrast, gold and black. And Persephone. And I'm gonna come in right here, just a little bit around it. And we are going to move some cups. Uh, we're gonna swipe with Brian's Ninja Stick. I think that is what I'm gonna do there. I like to do the initial swipe with this one and then I like to work around that. And that is where we're at at this point. I come in and do that. Okay, I'm going to bring this back this way. I 
It's a bit on the thick side, but that, you know, I'm not really worried too much about that. It will all dry once stretched out. I've gone down to the canvas there. I'm still going down. There we go. Do apologize for the glare and or reflection with the overhead lights, but all right. I'm loving this so much. All right, we're gonna come in this time with a bit of gold. I'm gonna work right here. I don't think I'm gonna make as big as a puddle as I did the last time. And I'm gonna come in right away with some black. Let's do some bloodstone. Burnt Sierra. Might, because I think we need it. And Persephone. I think I'm going to do gold again. No, I'm going to do some black first. Get that. Oh, no, I'm going to move that so that's not going to work. And some gold. All right. I'm gonna come in with this Swiffer this time. It's definitely, I'm working on a smaller size canvas because I wanted to make this a diptych, so. We are gonna come down, we're bringing that down off the bottom edge. Yeah, I love it. Just a lot of Persephone here. I think I'm gonna leave it for now, but I might modify some things. I am gonna leave this here and this here because, you know, why not? Man, black, gold, white, Persephone. Let's come in with some bloodstone and Black. All right, that's all we're gonna do right there. We're out of control here. All right, bring in the ninja stick. I just like huck that right off the canvas. That's good. Over into the cat's water bowl. So much fun. <laughs> All right, so what I'm going to do here is come in with a little bit of the black here. And we are going to tilt it off because that's what we do with the ninja swipe. Oh my gosh, so cool. Let me poke the bear. Boop. <clears throat> and now let's do a little one here. I said little the last time over here, but it ended up being a big one. Come 
I mean, I might have pressed. Yeah, let's do some white. I'm not going to pour it on there because then it'll get too big. And I'm not going to do any bloodstone in that one. Hee <laughs> hee. All right. Well, that's cute. Let's use something else so we can get under there a lot more. I'm trying to control a lot of it because it is a smaller canvas. So, all right, we're gonna pull that right off. I don't even know if I want to detail any of it. I like it so much. But it wouldn't be a ninja swipe if I didn't do something to it. The black base, it's hard to add detail. I don't want to mix the colors up. Sometimes you can't help it. Let me get a paper towel. All right.
and I will be right back to sign it. And how do we sign it? With little iridescent gold droplets. It'll just drip off. Nope, that's not where I wanted it. <laughs> and we'll just leave it there, just fresh one. Anyways. kind of fancy looking. They're not full drops, but we'll bring it through and make them hearts today. Because why not? Eek! All right, so I am done. We're going to give it one more torch. And uh, we're going to call it a game. Hi, guys. Here are the dried results. I absolutely love these. I'm super pleased. Sorry for the glare. But I'm just going to move these around a bit. But look at those piggies in there. They are just gorgeous. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. Um... I think I'm, I might keep this. I don't, I'm not sure. I just love the colors and they varnished beautifully. And there's the little signature area. I also did sign the side of it, but I am elated with how the piggies worked out with this ninja swipe. Um, up next is Kelly Stoll of Feral Art. I hope you guys, uh, continue down this premiere train. It is going to be really cool um, and see how everybody uses the new ninja stick that Brian um, has created. You guys have a great day. Thanks so much. I'll see you in Kelly's video. Bye.